So this video is all about the essential equipment that you need for GCSE Physics. And if you get it sorted for your lessons in physics, it's going to help in your other science lessons, it's going to help in maths and across all of your other subjects. Now there's nothing particularly expensive or unique in this thing here, but I thought I'd just go over this because I've seen so many times as a teacher that people come to the lesson ill-prepared. And this is the same for A-level as well. So first of all, I've got a clear pencil case. Um, you don't need that, but it's something that is useful when it comes to your real exams, where you can't go in with a pencil case which isn't clear. Often people just use a plastic wallet, but this is, this is quite a nice one. Now inside this, I have a scientific calculator. And I've got a whole series of videos showing how to get the most out of this as well. Now, you can use your phone if your school lets you do that, but it's, it's really important that you get used to using the right calculator that you're going to use in your, in your actual exams. So this one here, you know, it doesn't cost a huge amount. It doesn't need to be a graphical one. It just needs to be doing sine, cos and tan. So a bit of trigonometry as well as uh, standard form. So you need a calculator. I also have a 30 centimeter ruler. It's good to have a 30 centimetre ruler, so when it comes to drawing graphs, you can do nice large graphs. And this one here has got a transparent bit. Now the reason that that's important is that when it comes to doing lines of best fit, you can see you've got the same amount of points above and below the line. Alongside this, I've got a, um, a highlighter. Sometimes this is useful if you're revising to maybe kind of highlight certain bits of your notes. I've got a series of pens. Now. I find that I always tend to write in black because you need to write in black for your final exam. And it's always worth maybe getting a couple of black pens in case one of them runs out. Pretty straightforward stuff. But it's nice to have a few different colours so you can actually label diagrams. You know, if you're looking at forces, you can do different forces and different colours. So get a load of different colour pens. These ones here are my favourite. These are the Uniball Eye Pens. I think that these just work really well when you're writing. Alongside that though, you do need a pencil, and I suppose also a pencil sharpener and a rubber. This is because when it comes to drawing uh, diagrams and also drawing graphs, it's always best to use pencil. So that means if you make a mistake, you can rub it out. And then this is something that people always forget, but you do need it when it comes to drawing scale diagrams and also measuring angles. You do need a protractor. You can get them for about 15 pence, buy it, keep it in your pencil case, and then you've always got it. So that is an essential. And the last item, which I think is really important, is one of these. Now, this item here uh, is a set square, and it's got a couple of different uses. It's really good and practical work for making sure that things are vertical. But uh, you probably have one of these anyway, but it is worth keeping a set square in your pencil case as well. And that's pretty much it. Doesn't cost a huge amount. Get it sorted from the start, and you won't be that annoying person who's trying to borrow a pen off somebody else. So that's the equipment that you need for GCSE Physics.